Uh, Burger King wants to get involved. This is so... They are so stupid. It's someone over there, mind you. This isn't the king. You know the Burger King, the guy that runs the place? <laughs> the guy that actually makes all the decisions? He's the guy with the crown. The king of the burger. He didn't think this up. This is some dummy. Some dumb kind of promotional guy that they put in charge of their... Not even in charge. Probably part of a, a group that handles their social media. And thought like, I'm going to make a post that really shows women that we care about them. We want them to excel. And uh, the first tweet starts out with, what is it? A woman's place is in the kitchen there. A women belong in the kitchen. <laughs> and you're like, what the fuck are they getting at here? What the fuck could they possibly be getting at? And everyone's going, oh, my God, they're going to be in trouble. They're going to do this, that, the other thing. Well, it's part of a longer thread. You know, women belong in the kitchen when they're not in the bedroom, it should have said. Yeah, if you ain't sucking my dick in the bedroom, you do belong in the kitchen. But I'd never say you always belong in the kitchen. That's fucking, that's an outrage. <laughs> women belong in the kitchen. And then it goes on. What does it say? It goes on to say, um, uh, if they want to. I think if they want to. Oh, boy, that is like some really blurry. Fine dining kitchens, fo food truck kitchens. I can room. read it, Anthony. I've got good eyesight. Thank you, Aaron. I Fine need... dining kitchens, oh. food truck kitchens, award-winning kitchens, casual dining kitchens, ghost kitchens, Burger King kitchens. If there's a professional kitchen, women belong there. But can you guess who's leading those kitchens these days? Um, Black trans men. Right, exactly. <laughs> Black trans men are... Most of the people in those kitchens. <laughs> Only 24% of chefs don't have body odor offensive enough to chase people out of the room with the smell of their cock pussies. <laughs> Want to talk head chefs? Sure. Last night I just raped three of them in a walk-in cooler. This is where the new Burger King H-E-R, helping equalize restaurants scholarship comes in oh. are you a dumb bitch that thinks she can't do any better than cook well you got to apply for our scholarship we make hamburgers and so can you dummy that's what it says that's what it says because it was a little blurry i couldn't read it but yeah. i followed along i followed along that's great h-e-r oh they had to think of something <laughs> yeah they're like what should we do h-e-r um yeah, and then it's help eek, eek, eek. They wanted to do C-U-N-T, Can You Not Talk? That would be a good yeah. one. Yes. They, they kept, they doubled down, Anthony. I don't know, because you've been here, but they yeah. kept tweeting after they got the blowback yes. from this. And it's crazy, because I wouldn't think that they would do that. you think that they'd tap out. And they'd be like, say, hey, we made a mistake here. Yeah, uh, this one is fucking they, downright uh, disturbing. Oh, my God. Women need to be barefoot and pregnant. Yeah. I, I didn't see this one. I must have uh, lost the signal on the train. It's not getting a lot of likes yet, but no. I think that they, they may get worse because someone reached out to the PR company. Now, the PR company yeah. is Proud Boys Publicity. Oh, oh, oh. I thought uh, the PR company was Gas Digital. Doesn't he? Uh, <laughs> you think Luis Gomez took over their account? I thought that was the PR. <laughs> uh, oh, Puerto Rican. Yeah, is yeah. what you meant. Yeah, the rattlesnake. I get it. it was, um, but they they get worse and worse, and people are still complaining. A lot of people are thinking maybe Burger King's not even a healthy alternative to McDonald's at this wow. point. Wow. Yeah. I always went to Burger King when I thought, eh, no McDonald's today. I want to eat healthy. You know, I don't go to Burger King at all. You don't? I'm allergic to the sesame seeds, and their stance on women is just downright it, offensive. It's crazy. I, I, yeah, for personal reasons, based on my own ideology of equality and women's rights, I would never go to Burger King. Okay, well, then yeah. you're going to be on my side when you see this next tweet. All right. Let me uh, check. Oh, the, boy. Look, look at Drew. <laughs> He's in there tapping away. Oh, suck your man's dick and cook him a steak dinner? This is outrageous. This is purely outrageous. How? And they're not taking these tweets down. 
They're doubling down. They're doubling down worse and worse. That's, That's crazy. Why I <laughs> While I don't disagree with the sentiment, I think in this day and age, there could be a problem yeah. with but such sensible thinking. They're trying to lure in the non-politically correct fast right, food burger right. connoisseurs. There has to be an untapped audience out there. Yeah. <laughs> because it's like, eat meat and fucking blow a dude, even right. if there's no consent involved. I told you, the blowjob first, then the steak. <laughs> How would it be in Pulp Fiction if instead of Big Kahuna Burger, he had a, a Burger King burger? A Burger King. How oh, would burger that King. movie be changed now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mind if I have some of your tasted burger and a blowjob? <laughs> they, I got another one, Ant. They haven't blocked me yet. Maybe I should have some cum to wash this down. <laughs> oh, my God. Let him stick his all beef patty between your sesame seed buns. Now, I think this is what they call double entendre in the business. I think it says something, yet there's something behind it that could be misconstrued as being dirty. I think it means either sex or let your husband have a hamburger with your sesame seed buns. Yes. In the middle of or it. Or what if it's a combo of the both? He literally wants to take the all beef patty and shove it up her ass and then eat it. Yeah, or put his dick on an actual sesame seed bun and feed it to her. It's all so confusing. You know, Aaron. we see a lot of that on In Hot Water. There's a lot of videos of guys putting their dicks in between weird oh, shit. Oh, yes. And then but at least there's it. shit rubbed all over it, too. Yeah. So it's, you know, <laughs> you bring in some of that real disgusting aspect of sex. Um, they did do, like, one final tweet. I guess oh, they were sick they of are all doubling the down. stuff coming at them. <laughs> Bitches are stupid. That's it. That's the tweet. See, again, while I appreciate their straightforwardness and not beating around her smelly bush, I do think th this might get them in trouble. No, no. I think that there was probably more tweets after this where they oh, said, Oh, that like, rationalize it and kind of put it in context. They need more education. We're starting a scholarship foundation oh. to make them less stupid. Hey, bitches are stupid. They don't need to be. Not after her, her plan. Right, right. Oh, that makes it so much better. Oh, boy. Wow. I just wanted to come in to see those you tweets. You did your research on those, uh, those tweets. These I just guys. saw one. Yeah, well, you can't quit on the story right at the beginning. Of no, it no, no, no. That's the problem with a lot of people. They just read the headlines.